Okay. He wants to know why, what criteria do I use for choosing some ahadith pertaining to Akhirul Zaman and to interpret and explain them and not mentioning other ahadith. Well, I already explained that my knowledge of the subject is increasing one step at a time, little by little, little by little. It is Allah who gives understanding. If you are constantly thinking and thinking and thinking, my wife complains, oh yes, even when I'm with her, she and I alone, she demand is planning another lecture. <laughs> He's writing another book. <laughs> she complains. So, if you make the effort, then one day Allah will give you. Sometimes I go into the bathroom. When I come out, I come up with a new idea. <laughs> so it is only as knowledge advances that I'm able to understand a hadith. And if I do not speak on a hadith, the implication is that I'm not as yet comfortable that I penetrated that hadith. There is a well-known Sahih hadith in which the Prophet ﷺ said that you're going to make an alliance with room. Is it a surah to room? Room. And in that surah we are told at the very first ayah that room was defeated. Room was defeated. Did you hear that? Room was defeated. But in a few years time room will be victorious. Who is room? Now if you tell me that room is Rome, R-O-M-E, I would suggest you go and live in Disneyland and never come back. If you believe that room is Rome, R-O-M-E, go and live in Disneyland and never come back. Excuse me for raising my voice. <laughs> At the time when the Quran was revealed, who was it who was defeated? Was it a city in Italy, you dum dum? Why don't you do a little bit of research before you come to this foolish conclusion? Excuse me. Uh -huh. No, even five rupees worth of a little bit of research. You'll know that when the Quran said that Rome was defeated, the Quran was not talking about a city in Italy called Rome. No. The Quran was talking about the Byzantine Christian Empire which had its capital city in Constantinople. I mean only five minutes worth of research you need for that. And so don't use the word Romans. No. They're not Romans. Romans are a people who have some kind of a connection with Rome. Otherwise I have to change the English language. Huh? And these are in Constantinople. This is not Rome. <laughs> so these are not Romans. So stop mistranslating the Quran, please. It is the Byzantine, Eastern Orthodox Christian Empire. Where is room today? It's no longer in Constantinople because the Byzantine Empire no longer exists. But the Eastern Christian Orthodox Church and religion still exists. 
that is Rome. Who it is who now leads that community of Eastern Christian Orthodox believers? The answer is Russia. That's the answer. And so when the Prophet said, alayhi salatu was salam, that you will make an alliance with Rome, he was certainly not talking about a Yankee alliance. Someone should tell that to the Pakistan Armed Forces. He was not talking about an alliance with Britain, or with France, or with Germany, or with Israel. <laughs> When he spoke about an alliance with Rome, he was referring to an alliance with the Eastern Christian Orthodox Church. And therefore to those who now rule over that community, which is Russia. Russia. And so a Muslim alliance with Russia is anticipated by the Prophet and it will come. How soon this will happen? He also said that you will conquer Constantinople. And what a wonderful army that would be. What a wonderful army that would be. And what a wonderful Amir that would be who will conquer Constantinople. Nabi Muhammad alayhi salatu waslam used the name in this hadith he used the name Constantinople if the Prophet of Allah called it Constantinople why did you change the name to Istanbul I know the answer because you want to hide this hadith that's why you change the name to Istanbul but we should refer to it by the name that Nabi Muhammad used, Constantinople. This has to be a conquest of Constantinople in Akhirul Zaman. It cannot be that conquest which took place so many years ago, hundred years ago. This conquest of Constantinople will come, I believe, when the next attempt at a coup d'etat takes place in Turkey. You know, Turkey always has the coup d'etats. But you now have a Muslim government that is attempting to establish Islam and is opposed to Israel in Turkey. And you have an armed forces in Turkey which are supporting Israel. And so you're heading for a showdown. Whenever the effort is made by the armed forces to take over the country and overthrow the government, I think that's the cue for civil war. And the outcome of that civil war is what is prophesied in this hadith, the conquest of Constantinople. When that conquest of Constantinople takes place, NATO will lose Constantinople. NATO will therefore lose its control over the Bosphorus. At this time, Russian ships, Russian submarines, Russian nuclear submarines cannot pass through the Bosphorus to enter into the Mediterranean Sea because NATO controls them. But once that NATO control is destroyed by that Muslim army, and Constantinople is liberated 
and you have an alliance with Russia as prophesied in the hadith then the Russian Navy can enter into the Mediterranean the Russian submarines can enter into the Mediterranean from the Black Sea and then and then the contest with Israel will become a more even-handed contest once you have nuclear armed submarines in the Mediterranean I think we're gonna have to stop there I've not answered all the questions but uh, we'll schedule another day not this masjid another masjid inshallah and uh, uh, we'll attempt to answer the rest of the questions ربنا تقبل منا إنك أنت السميع العليم وتبع علينا يا مولانا إنك أنت التواب الرحيم برحمتك يا رحمة الله